All right. For you backyard mechanics, we're going to show you how you, how simple this can be to put together. Okay. Um, what we got? You're going to need gaskets. If you're going to be using the uh, gasket size plate and the shield. Now most guys are putting the pl plate and the shield together because you do get double the thickness of the insulated value and you can wind up with an air gap around there and of course the air gap air does not conduct heat or cold so that's why they put them in insulated windows and in the building industry so what we're going to do here is this actually gives you a triple insulated shield when you do it this way Elder Brocks, you can actually put it on by itself if you wanted to and it'll work perfectly fine but the Elder Brocks the only one um, Hollies, for example, you're going to find they do need the plate under it because if we go right over here, okay, your squirters actually hang out over the plate. And since they hang out over the plate, if you went without the, uh, the gasket size plate, it would actually bottom out and your squirters wouldn't operate. So you do definitely need the pair of them for the Hollies okay and for the dominators now out of Brock it is an option but printer everybody that gets it for the extra 15 bucks that it costs because we're giving you a, an extra deal on it because the, these are 40 these are 20 the gaskets are uh, five bucks um, you're gonna find for the uh, at the package you wind up with 55 so you save five hours so for $15 more, you're actually getting double or almost triple the insulated value, and it works so much better for you that way. It gives you so much more protection. Now, um, what this material is actually made of, you have a, it's almost like plywood, except it's aluminum, poly, and aluminum. And of course, the aluminum makes it solid and rigid, so the poly is uh, rigid. Now, what we're going to do, and of course that makes super insulated value. Very simple to do, guys. What we're going to do, we're going to show you how simple it is. First off, take your carburetor off. You want to clean this real good. Just get her nice and clean. Most gases just pull right off and they, uh, they really don't stick. But, if you do get a stubborn one, uh, just make it nice and smooth and clean so you don't wind up with a vapor uh, vacuum leak. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take our gasket and we'll put that on first. You're going to put your plate on. This is your shield. You put that on. Okay? And of course you need another gasket because you are metal to metal. So you put that gasket on. And of course you want your extra height and your extra insulation. So you put that on. I'll flip her over. Okay? It doesn't matter which way it goes. I just made it so it's a different color so you can see what we're doing here. Now, and of course your carburetor, you need one for the carburetor now. And you just put your carburetor right on. Now this is the Elder Brock. See how simple that is? Just put it right on there and everything works perfect. See how simple that is? Hook everything back up that you, the way you took it off because our car is a little bit different. So put her back together the exact way you took it off, and you're ready to go. Now, this, if you notice, this is our demo model here. We don't have the studs on it, but you notice we're short on the studs. And you will be gathering, gathering height. So you basically got to figure, if you're not sticking up over here about a half an inch, on your, when you took it off, you're going to be too short. So check that before you make your orders, because you uh, we do make studs available with the nuts. We have a stud, a stainless steel nut and stud set. Um, the studs are stainless. The nuts are actually locking stainless nuts. Okay.